First, uh, uh, let, let me uh, thank uh, many people, and I'll miss somebody, but uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, the dean and uh, all the staff here, uh, students uh, and faculty, um, it, it's just been, uh, you know, uh, the, what you have in going to school here, you will not fully appreciate until you leave. Uh, but the, uh, the gift here is just uh, dramatic. Um, take advantage of it. Uh, <clears throat> the, you know, the expression, uh, ever to excel, uh, don't forget. Uh, use it, think about it, and go make a difference in this world. Uh, as uh, my uh, two, uh, two f former friends uh, here uh, <coughs> were doing, um, uh, the other gift is you have the gift of relationships. And um, you, you don't quite understand also just how value those, uh, valuable those things are. Uh, you know, most of us spend time when we're younger trying to be older, and most of us when we're older try to figure out how to be younger. Uh, but but the, the imprint of what that experience was like here at the school was more than just what was in the class. It was what was in all of our hearts and how we made, uh, make, you know, how we went out and tried to make a difference in this world. Uh, enjoy it. And, and not just enjoy it, but make it the, the foundation of what you're going to do in the rest of your life. Uh, the other piece is <clears throat> I, I, can, I can't express enough thanks uh, uh, to uh, my family, but mostly uh, to my wife. Uh, so at, at the end of the day, uh, you can only accomplish things if you have a partner. Um, and it's an uneven partnership. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The greatest sacrifices come from uh, my wife, Maureen. Um, and um, obviously, uh, she, means, uh, she means such a great deal to me. Um, but what she's had to do to help accomplish some of these things, um, you know, it, it's just remarkable. And, and I, from my bottom of my heart. So <clears throat> the... Um, <clears throat> Um, the, the, the other piece is a couple, couple other quick things, and then I'll um, hopefully sit down. You can all go get some lunch, right? So, um, so um, I, again, uh, I, I did take to heart the idea of ever to excel. And what we do where we are is, and it's what you should do wherever you are, is uh, go out and make a difference. And if, uh, you know, when you think about what's going to be on your, you know, your tombstone or whatever it is that you want, um, for me, uh, I want it to be a difference maker. Okay. You have the opportunity, you get the tools here from everything you've learned to go make a difference in people's lives. Whether that's one person or a hundred people or a thousand people, whatever it is, just go make a difference. And the people you make a difference with will probably, you will never hear that expression of gratitude from them. But just know in your heart that they are feeling that years later, decades later, and, and, and what, what an important gift that is. Because we, we don't see the fruits of that labor when you do the work that you do as a social worker. But just understand that gift that you give people all the time. It is remarkable. And it's a gift that just can't be wrapped in any kind of a package. Uh, <clears throat> the other piece I want to talk about is, uh, so one of the few times I actually will have been in this building and done an assignment, because I was not exactly what you would describe. I actually found out where the library was when I came back here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, but the early presentation, Dr. Kanda said, um, you know, how'd you get here? How'd you become a social worker? I know that answer. I knew that answer when I was here. I've known that answer every day. I had that because of the imprint that I had of being of service. And I love that term you use, uh, of service. And it was because I grew up in a, in a Jesuit tradition household. Or as my grandfather liked to say, those aren't priests, those are Jesuits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and so, so I know exactly where that came from. And my goal is to be of service be of service, okay? And be of service not just to the people you work with, but to the people who are around you also. Uh, the other piece I want to talk about is just um, uh, what, uh, to talk about stress uh, and prayer and spirituality. Somehow I have to wind that in here, right? So um, um, one of the most important things for me is actually the serenity prayer, okay? Everybody know the serenity prayer? Okay. So what most people say when I say, you know the serenity prayer, they say, yeah. Um, but what they really do is they only know the first part which is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. There's actually two other parts, okay? It's courage to change the, can, the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. What usually happens is you get what you ask for. And if all you're asking for is serenity to get through the day, you've gotten through the day. Don't forget about the courage and wisdom. They're really important pieces to it. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, as Cheryl and Jim said before, uh, don't forget, steal shamelessly. 
If there's a good idea out there that's going to help people you work with, absolutely take it. But the other side, share enthusiastically. If you have something that's working for people, make sure other people know about it, because we're here to help as many people as we can, whether you see them or somebody else does. Do that for people. Um, and also be around great people. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, uh, here's two people from the School of Social Work. I'm, I'm fortunate to be with them. Just be around great people because there's this funny thing. Great people somehow bring out greatness in others, okay? Bring out greatness in others and be great yourself. A uh, couple of things. Uh, make sure also uh, that you follow actually what I think of as the basic social work tenets, okay? You know, purposeful use of self, you know. You know, understand what someone else is thinking and doing. Just practice those things in your daily life, and your life will be better for it, and so will everybody else. Other pieces are just, uh, the other is uh, not only seek out differences, love them, enjoy them, and understand what a gift it is to have differences in this world. Okay? Um, you know, sometimes we try to make ourselves comfortable. Comfortable is great, but it's also kind of boring, and it just is flat and doesn't help anybody. Seek out love and embrace differences. Um, the uh, other quick things are, I, I, one of the things I try to tell everybody is differentiate the difference between hopes and expectations. Okay? Now, oftentimes what we do when we work in social work, we deal with people who come into our offices and basically what they have are sometimes high hopes for a great, wonderful life, but they have low expectations of ever getting there. Not only when you work with people, think about your own selves. Are your hopes higher than your expectations? And if they are, rebalance those things. Because in life, we tend to get what we expect. It's sometimes we get what we hope. Make sure you spend time on those expectations as much as you can. Okay. And f finally, um, I'm just humbled. Okay. Um, there's... Um, there's, there's nothing greater than to be loved by people you love, okay? Nothing. So make sure you not just love other people, but you get a chance to also be in this world where you can be in this place where you can share that love and be with people. It, it makes a huge difference. It helps in those times when it's really hard to do what we do because, by the way, we do really hard work. What we do is really, really hard, okay? But great things are not accomplished when things are easy. Okay. Understand what we do and value it. And the last thing is, you're lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be here. Okay. <clears throat> I was not supposed to be here. This was not the school was my first choice. Thank God it was. I really thank God it was. I met the love of my life. Okay. I met friends that I just can't tell you how valuable they are. And I got lessons here that just stay with me every day of my life, okay? There are opportunities that happen when you think you don't have the choice that you want. Understand what those opportunities really are because if you don't see them, you won't take advantage of them, but they're there. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And, and the last thing I want to say is I always thought my friends had good judgment until now. <laughs> <coughs> um, but on a serious note, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, and make sure you can get in this place yourselves. Thank you.